neutral displacement voltage, residual voltage, broken delta voltage in impedance earth system, solid earth system, unearth system. In this video, it is clearly explained about neutral displacement voltage in impedance earth system, residual voltage in solid earth system, broken delta in unearth system. Also, it explained about procedure to calculate neutral displacement voltage, residual voltage, broken delta voltage with the example. In solid earth system, fault current is used to detect earth fault. In impedance earth system, fault current is low. In unearth system, no fault current. For high impedance earth system, unearth system, voltage detection method is used. In solid earth system, voltage is used to detect direction of earth fault. Forward direction only it will operate, reverse direction it will not operate. Generally, generator stator bindings, one side they are connected as a star and connected to earth via high impedance. This is called high impedance earthing. Other side they connect to the load. Normal condition, the voltage will be equal. Case 1 is normal condition. Say. That is Vrn plus Vyn plus Vbn equal to 0. That is Vrn is, Vrn is equal to 63.5 and 0 volt. Vyn equal to 63.5 angle minus 120 volt. Vbn equal to 63 point angle 120 volt. Summation of this voltage equal to 0. Neutral displacement voltage equal to 0. Case 2. In this case 2, stator winding is an earth fault is coming. Stator winding to earth fault. Generator with the stator earth fault. Due to this one, the terminal voltage will be reduced. Case 3, generator interten fault. Generator with the interten short. In this, due to this one, the terminal voltage will be reduced. Case 2 and 3 is fault condition. For generator, stator earth fault or interten fault, neutral is displaced. 3 degree. Another is Milman theorem. Milman theorem. Here you see three voltage sources are there. They are connected to the impedance Z1, Z2, Z3. Other side of the impedance are star connected and floating. The floating point is P. That is equal to V by Z1 plus V1 by Z1 plus V2 by Z2 plus V3 by Z3 whole divided by 1 by Z1 plus 1 by Z2 plus 1 by Z3. 1 by Rx is equal to 1 by Z1 plus 1 by Z2 plus 1 by Z3. I1 is equal to V1 minus Vx by Z1. I2 is equal to V2 minus Vx by Z2. I3 is equal to V3 minus Vx divided by Z3. Applying Milman theorem, finding the source voltage, source impedance at various values. If V1 is equal to Vrn equal to 230 volt, angle 0 degree volt. V2 is equal to Vyn equal to 230 angle minus 120 volt. V3 is equal to Vbn equal to 230 angle 120 volt. 120 degree volt. Z1 one load impedance. Z1 is equal to Z2 is equal to Z3 is equal to 200 ohms. Then Vx is equal to 0 volt. I1 equal to that is our phase current. 1.15 angle 0 degree ampere. I2 is equal to 1.15 angle minus 120. I3 equal to 1.15 angle 120. Here balanced current magnitude and angle are balanced. Next. If V1 is equal to 230 angle 0 degree. V2 is equal to 230 angle minus 120, V3 equal to 230 angle 120, Z1 equal to 200 ohms, Z2 is equal to 200 ohms, 
z3 is equal to 100 ohms. In that condition, Vx is equal to 230 angle 0 divided by 200, 230 angle 120 divided by 200 plus 230 angle 120 divided by 100, whole divided by 1 by 200 plus 1 by 200 plus 1 by 100. So, Vx is equal to 57.5120 volt uh, in that condition, I1 is equal to 1.32 angle minus 10 degree. I2 is equal to 1.32 minus 1.109.1. I3 is equal to 1.73 angle 120 degree. Unbalanced current magnitude and our angle are different. Vx is called neutral displacement that is shifted voltage for this three wire system due to different impedance. I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to 1.32 angle minus 10 plus 1.32 angle minus 100.1 plus 1.73 angle 120 that is equal to 0 ampere. Four wire system with high neutral impedance and unbalanced load. That is ROIB neutral is a four wire system. This is connected to the three loads, unbalanced load, and high neutral impedance is connected. Connected. That is neutral side is high impedance is connected. If V1 is equal to VR1 is equal to 230 angle 0 volt, V2 is equal to VYN is equal to 230 angle minus 120 volt. V3 is equal to VBN is equal to 230 angle 120 volt. Then load impedance Z1 equal to Z2 is equal to 200 ohms. Z3 is equal to 100 ohms. Z is equal to 7.5 ohms. Then Rx is equal to 50 ohms. Vx is equal to 50 .75, 57.5 angle 120 volt without DZ. That is without connecting the high impedance. The open terminal voltage that is P to neutral voltage is 57.5 volt angle 120 degree and source impedance is RS secured to 50 ohms. One by RX equal to one by 200 plus one by 200 plus one by 100. So RX is equal to 50 ohms. Now, these three source voltages connected to the load impedance and floating point equal to 57.5 angle 120 is a source voltage, 50 ohms is source impedance. Now, if we connect a resistance that is load 7.5 ohms across that open terminal that is star point and Calculate what is the current and what is the voltage. That is equal to 1 ampere. Current flowing into the resistor is 1 ampere. 1 into 7.5 ohms is equal to 7.5 volt. After connecting EZ, Vx is equal to 7.5 volt. Vx is neutral displacement voltage of 4 wire system with high impedance and unbalanced load. Four wire system with high neutral impedance and unbalanced input voltage. You see in this diagram, three sources are there with the equal load impedance and connected to 7.5 ohms and neutral. But voltage is different voltage. If V1 is equal to VR is equal to 130 volt, V2 circuit to VYN equal to 230 angle minus 120 volt, V3 equal to VBN equal to 230 angle 120 volt, EZ1 equal to EZ2 equal to EZ3 equal to 200 ohms, EZ equal to 7.5 ohms that is loading impedance that is sorry neutral impedance and EZ not connected if EZ not connected then Vx equal to minus 100 volt that is equal to 180 degree. Rx equal to 66.66 ohms. After connecting EZ, Vx equal to 10.11 volt. Vx is neutral displacement voltage 
of four wire system with high impedance and unbalanced input voltage with balanced load so in four wire system with the high impedance system neutral displacement voltage will appear due to unbalanced load impedance or unbalanced input voltage residual voltage solid earth system see in the diagram on transformer is the neutral is directly connected to the start point of the transformer this pt is seriously connected and uv is open delta voltage if a fault bn fault occurs the bn voltage will be reduced voltage across u and v equal to residual voltage equal to vrn plus vyn plus vbn example if vrn equal to 63.5 volt and vyn equal to 63.5 angle minus 120 volt vbn equal to 53.5 angle 120 volt for bn fault then voltage across u and v equal to 63.5 angle 0 plus 63.5 angle minus 120 plus 53.5 angle 120 that is equal to minus 10 angle 120 that is equal to 10 angle 300 volt voltage with the equal voltage across uv is equal to reduced voltage and the angle is equal to reversal of faulty phase this voltage is used for fault direction in earth fault relay neutral displacement voltage high impedance earth system in some cases to control the earth fault current they connect high impedance in neutral side of the source you see in the diagram stator winding or transformer one side of the stator winding or transformer is shorted together and connected to earth via high impedance NGT or NGR. Voltage across NGT or NGR that is equal to neutral displacement voltage. NGT equal to neutral grounding transformer. NGR means neutral grounding resistor. In four wire system with the high impedance earth, neutral displacement voltage will appear due to unbalanced load impedance that is capacitance between phase and the earth or unbalanced input voltage due to stator or transformer earth fault or winding short. Example, if EZ1 equal to EZ2 equal to EZ3 equal to 100 ohms, that is low impedance is equal to 100 ohms. NGT or NGR impedance equal to EZ equal to 300 ohms. The start point of the load is connected to the needle via this 300 ohms, neutral impedance ohms. And the terminal voltage due to earth fault is VRN equal to 100 volt, VYN equal to 100 angle minus 120 volt, VBN equal to 80 angle 120 volt. Then voltage across NGT or NGR equal to 6 angle minus 60 volt. Using step up transformer that is 1 is to 2 into root 3, this voltage is given to the relay with the proper settings for correct operation during the an earth fault. The following figure is used to, to calculate the voltage across NGT and the NGR. See in this diagram, three sources with the different voltages, load equal load impedance with the NGT or NGR. So total voltage across NGT or NGR equal to 6 angles minus 60 volt. Note, data in the example used for calculation purpose only to understand the subject. Neutral mood to one phase in unearth system. You see in the diagram, stator winding, one side of stator winding or transfer winding is shorted together and not connected to the earth. That is, it is neutral is isolated from the earth. In three wire system, source neutral is isolated from earth. So capacitance between earth and the phase will be considered as load impedance and the start point is earth, load neutral. For BN fault, this neutral is moved to B phase. Voltage vector is shown in the diagram for normal condition and BN fault. So, 
voltage across terminal UV is equal to VYB plus VRB equal to 3 times of V phase to neutral voltage. This voltage is called broken delta voltage used to, to detect earth fault in 3 wire system that is unearth system. In solid earth system, residual voltage method is used. Residual voltage equal to VRN plus VON plus VBN. This voltage will not exceed rated voltage for, for an earth fault. In high impedance earth system, voltage across NGR, NGT is used. This voltage will not exceed rated voltage for an earth fault. In unearth system, broken delta voltage method is used. This voltage will exceed rated voltage for an earth fault and equal to three times rated voltages. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need any clarification, you will send mail to us. Our email ID is anbu.electric.y at gmail.com.